Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will try to solve a problem on consumer surplus that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel. The question is like this. If the demand for a consumer is given by the function, we have the demand function for a consumer as P is equal to 27 minus 3x minus x square, where x denotes the quantity demanded, P is the price. The consumer surplus when x states quantity is equal to 3 units is the options are 31.5, 32.5, 49.5 and 50.5. So we have to choose among the options. Okay. So what is actually the consumer surplus? Uh, consumer surplus as you know is the difference between uh, the consumer's willingness uh, to pay for a product and the actual price they pay. Okay. Their difference is called the consumer surplus. And how do we... Um, mathematically show it let's try to write uh, first uh, our demand function then i will show you so this is p is equal to 27 minus 3x minus x square this is the inverse demand function for the consumer okay to calculate a uh, consumer surplus first uh, we need to find the value of price that is p and also we are being given x is equal to 3 so just plug x is equal to 3 in this equation so we have P is equal to 27 minus 3 the value of x is 3 uh, minus 3 square this comes out to be 27 minus 3 threes are 9 minus 3 threes are 9 so this is 9 minus 9 is 18 so I will write here this is 18 and which again comes out to be 9 that means uh, price is equilibrium price is 9 okay quantity is x that is x is equal to 3 which is given okay and total expenditure by the consumer will be equal to that is p into x that is the total expenditure by the consumer is equal to 9 into 3 uh, which comes out to be 27 okay now we need to use the consumer surplus formula okay i will show it uh, graphically first uh, so that you understand it very well so let me draw the graph here so let us uh, draw graph on this axis axis uh, let us say we have quantity quantity on this axis okay and price on this axis okay we are being given the demand function okay and it's, uh, it is not linear one so I will um, make it like this let us say this is our demand function okay what is uh, the equilibrium quantity let us say x in place of quantity uh, is being denoted here by x so x is equal to 3 and price is 9 okay then what is the consumer surplus graphically graphically consumer surplus is the area which lies below the demand curve and above the equilibrium price okay this very uh, part is called this very uh, uh, looking like a triangle shape although it is not a triangle uh, the area of this very uh, figure denotes the consumer surplus okay and we know it is the difference between the consumer's willingness to pay for a product and the uh, and the actual price they pay okay so this is how do we uh, form the consumer surplus graphically okay so what is uh, the formula for consumer surplus consumer surplus is given by the definite integral of from zero to equilibrium quantity here we have x and integrating the inverse demand function with respect to x okay and to this we subtract the total expenditure that is a uh, price into x okay let me write it in brackets not to be con uh, confused uh, whether this is uh, in the uh, integral part okay so it is outside of this very integral part okay now uh, graphically what does this portion mean let me draw it here if I have the space available graphically it shows us let me draw the graph here it shows uh, the area
this very thing this very thing shows the area of this if we uh, calculate this very thing we will get this area from that we need to subtract the total expenditure and graphically what is the uh, total expenditure 9 into 3 that is 27 that is price into quantity okay and when we subtract uh, uh, this very area from this figure we get uh, let me draw it here we get uh, this very area okay and this very uh, thing here okay so let's try to give the variables their values we have the definite integral from 0 to 3 we have the demand function uh, is 27 minus 3x minus x square okay and we need to integrate it with respect to x and from that we need to subtract p into x that is total expenditure okay now uh, how do we do in uh, integration i have shown you in many videos okay so i will not go into the details here the uh, integral of 27 with respect to uh, x will be 27x so we have uh, 27x minus uh, 3 into the uh, sorry the integral of x is x square upon 2 okay by power function rule minus the derivative of uh, x square will be x cube upon 3 okay and we have to evaluate it from 0 to 3 that is equilibrium quantity minus total expenditure p into x p into x we calculated it came out to be 27 okay now let us uh, give me uh, let's uh, try to see how do we use the integral here the integral of x to the power n if we want to integrate this how do we integrate we just uh, write first this x this n okay then what we do we just uh, add exponent by one okay and divide by the resulting exponent that is n uh, plus one okay so x raised power n its uh, integral will be x to the power n plus one divided by n plus one let us say we have x to the power for you its derivative will be x to the power for you plus one upon for you plus one okay it is very simple that very rule i have used here okay now let me uh, rub this out i hope you are liking these very videos uh, if you want to donate to this channel you can see the basic info there you can get uh, the paypal account detail just to donate if uh, in case if you like these videos and if you are willing to otherwise it is not necessary just if you want to support this channel okay so uh, consumer surplus is this very thing now just evaluate uh, this in these very terms uh, at th uh, at the upper value that is 3 that means 27 into 3 minus 3 uh, x square minus 3 square 3 square upon 2 minus x, the value of x is 3 so we have 3 cube upon uh, 3 okay we have first evaluated uh, uh, these terms at upper limit then we need to subtract and evaluate it at the lower limit since uh, yeah, 0 is our lower limit 27 into 0 will be 0 uh, this very term will be also 0 because x is involved and the value of x is 0 here also it is 0 so we don't need to evaluate at the lower limit because it will come out to be 0 and then we have minus 27 okay so 27 into 3 3 7 are 21 3 2 are 6 7 8 this is 81 minus 3 3 are 9 3 are 27 upon 2 we have here minus 3 3 are 9 3 are 27 upon 3 we have this and then we have 27 okay so consumer surplus is this 81 uh, minus 27 upon 2 is uh, 2 ones are 2 uh, 2 3s are 6, 1 is left, so this will become 2, 5s are 10, minus 3, 1s are 3, 9 is are 27. We are left with 9 here. Then we have 27. And this is 81. Now, this these two 
terms come out to be 36 minus uh, 13.5 now 11 minus 6 is 5 7 minus 3 is 4 45 minus 13.5 and what it came uh, comes out to be so we have 45 point naught and we have 13.5 okay so 10 minus 5 is 5 4 minus 3 is 1 3 minus 1 is sorry uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 that means we got 31.5 as the consumer surplus and the correct option should be this very option okay and what does this very area tell us this whole area is actually this very thing that is 0 to 3 uh, 27 minus 3 x minus x square okay dx this very area denotes this very part minus uh, this very part denotes the total expenditure that is 9 into 3 okay which we have here p into x and what we uh, get from this if we subtract uh, this very uh, uh, quadrilateral or whatever it is here uh, square or rather a triangle if we subtract uh, this uh, um, rectangle from this very area we will get the area of this very uh, triangle like shape okay and that means the area of this very triangle uh, looking like a triangle although it is not a triangle here this comes out to be 31.5 why it is not a triangle because we don't have a linear demand function we have uh, somewhat uh, somehow like a quadratic uh, type of demand function okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you